Hey everybody, I'm Trevor and I get questions all the time about specifically how to decide what to sell something for on eBay. You know, you've got stuff in your in your garage, in your attic, stuff around the house that you want to get rid of, but you're not really sure what to sell it for or what it's worth. Or maybe you found a supplier online or some kind of a manufacturer overseas that sells a product and you're looking at it like, ah, I'm not sure what I could sell it for. I wonder how. Well, I wonder what the market value is worth on a place like eBay. Well, I'm going to show you how to figure that out today um, through a little filtering system that's very easy. Now, I want to show this to you through an example real quick. Um, we're going to show you how to check completed listings and how to check sold listings right here on eBay. Now, let's pretend for just a second that you want to sell... Um, well, we'll I, I'm going to pick a product out of the blue here. I'm going to say you want to sell a mocking J pin. Now, a lot of you guys may not even know what I'm talking about here, mocking J pin. This is this is actually a product that uh, is very popular. It's very trendy right now because there's a movie out there that's associated with this product. It's a piece of movie memorabilia, and let's say you have one lying around the house or you've got a little supplier that's got them, or maybe you've seen them discounted down at, at your local retailer and you're thinking, wow, you know, it's cheap enough. I wonder if I could mark it up and make some money. Well, you do a search for it on eBay. That's step one, just like I just did here, typed in Mockingjay pin. And then you look down here to the left, and I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this just a little bit better. Down here on the left-hand side of the screen, there's a bunch of different uh, filtering options, okay? So I can filter to where I only want to see new ones, I only want to see certain price ranges, I only want to see certain formats. Well, there's more, and I, I won't go into all the details of these different filtering options, but the ones I do want to show you are these right here. These are the completed listings uh, and sold listings, okay? So the completed listings does this. If I put a little check here, it automatically filters it, and these show recently ended items. So today is August 4th and it looks like this item recently ended. Uh, it was listed for $20 uh, and ended just today. If I scroll down, this item right here ended on August 3rd, so just yesterday and sold for $5. Anything that shows up in green shows up as a sold listing. That means it did sell. Um, here's a poster for $17 didn't sell because it's in black, okay? Here's a, uh, it's like a, more posters, that's not really relevant. Here's another pin. This pin was sold for $1.89, okay? Um, yesterday, and free shipping too. It's pretty cheap, right? But this was directly out of China, so I'm gonna make a note of that. Because I'm trying to figure out about what could I sell one of these pins for, right? The other one that sold up here was for $5, um, but it doesn't say anything about free shipping. So if I want to click here on the title, which is what I'll do, I'm going to click on the title of the listing. It should show me what the shipping is, and sure enough, right here, that was $3 shipping. Okay, so really this person sold this item for 8 bucks, right? Good to know. So, so far I have one that was sold for $1.89 out of China, and then one sold for eight bucks um, right here in the United States. I keep scrolling down. Here's another one that sold. That was for seven eighty nine, uh, free shipping. Okay. Keep scrolling down. Here's another one that sold. Of course, this is a little bit of a different style, but that was four dollars and free shipping. That also was out of China. See how I do this? So I can, I can look here real time, guys. This was literally in the last day. I can look here real time and figure out roughly what these items are selling for. This one right here went unsold for 25 bucks, but that doesn't surprise me because the identical one sold for about five bucks and, and three dollars shipping. So this is probably grossly overpriced, right? And as I continue to down, continue down, I can see more and more listings. This was a buck 88 out of China. This one right here was ten dollars in free shipping for the same item. So I, I mean, just based on what I'm seeing here. This specific type of item right here, um, $10 is, 
is probably close to its market value. So if I had this same item, I could probably throw it up onto eBay for around 10 bucks and, and sell it, right? And I've, I've seen that to be the case as I scroll down. Um, anyway, here's another one, 9.99, same exact item, free shipping, that's 10 bucks. The one for $15 here in free shipping didn't sell, so 15 might be too high. So you see that, guys? If, if you use these completed listings, and again, the filter is right up here at the top on the left-hand side, right here under show only, you can select uh, completed listings so that you can see items that have sold and items that have not sold. Now, I know this won't work for everything. If you have a very unique item, um, maybe it's an antique or a one-of-a-kind, this isn't going to work because there's not going to be other items that are similar to the ones that you listed that are going to be available here for you to analyze. Luckily, in this example, there's a lot of these types of products out there. And so it's easy for me to kind of gain some idea of about what, you know, about what the market value of this specific item is, right? Not so easy if it's a one of a kind. So, you know, but, you know, most of our stuff that we sell online probably isn't one of the one of a kind stuff. If it is, you might still look in completed listings and try to find something similar. Um, so anyway, that's your completed listings. Now, here's the other filter. I'll, I'm going to uncheck completed listings real quick. And I just want to see sold listings. That'll filter it even further. So if I click on sold listings right here, it's going to filter everything that is sold using this keyword phrase, uh, Mockingjay pin, okay? So I can scroll down here and I'll see all of the sold items. It won't, sell me, it won't show me anything that's unsold. It just shows me only sold items. Here's one of the ones that we were looking at a few minutes ago. That's $12.50. That's the highest I've seen that yet. $9, $11. Uh, this one's $5.50, but it doesn't say free shipping, so I'm going to click on it and see about what shipping is. Shipping was 250, so that was about eight bucks. So on the low side, I've seen like five. On the high side, 1250, so on and so forth. Oh, this one was eight. See what I mean? So I have a pretty good idea of about what I could sell this product for. Okay, easy enough, right? Well, that's how you filter search results in eBay. And, and there's a lot of eBay tools out there that people say. And are, are great and they pay money for and there's software and all sorts of different analytical tools out there. I'm telling you, this is the best one you'll ever use for eBay uh, because real time you can see market values. And really, I don't care what you bought the item for. You can tell me that you bought a product from a supplier where it was wholesale 10 bucks and, and they say that the manufacturer's suggested retail price is 50 but that doesn't mean that's what it's worth. Um, an MSRP price, guys, that 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 means very little. That's just kind of the man, the manufacturer saying this is about what something is worth. Well, you know as well as I do, the true market value of something is worth as much as somebody is willing to pay. And so, if I got something for a higher price, and I come to eBay and they're selling for much lower based on this research. I can be relatively confident that it's not really worth that much. It's worth what people are willing to pay. This right here is a measure of true market value. Okay, so this is how to use the completed listings. Um, we could do other examples, but I think this is probably sufficient. I think I'm going to leave you guys with just this one. You're welcome to do this with any product that you're looking at to try to figure out about what it's worth. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the recording. I hope this has been helpful to you guys today. Thanks again.